Hey guys, BackstabX over here. We have a new sick layout. Thank you so much for uh, Yusuf for making this layout. I love it. It's kind of like Hollywood Hammers, BackstabX, Clash Royale theme. I think it looks great. Got the little uh, hammer flag as well on top. We got my chat and my trophy when I won CRNAO down there with plus a couple hammers so we can slam some heads. And today we got a, a really, really sick uh, golem poison deck that I made. Right now we are 11 and 1 in the Grand Challenge. We're going to go for 12 live on stream and we're also going to show a couple of uh, replays of how we got here. How we got 11 and 1. Uh, I've had a lot of success with this deck. I just made it and uh, I think it's really great. So let's go ahead and get that 12th win here live on stream. Let's do this. Alright, so battle right away. And nice, we start off with the pump. That's exactly what we want to start off with. So he's gonna go. We'll zap this. So he's possibly has like log bait. I see the barrel. No rocket coming out yet. Ooh. Ooh. Rip. Rip. Okay, so we're gonna put goblins here on the side to take out that Mega Knight quickly. Maybe save that tower. And we gotta get Night Witch down. We gotta strike back here. We gotta strike back. Mega Minion is coming in. Golem is doing some good work. Okay, that's gonna be a tower trade here. Those minions should fall. To the pop golem. Okay, and then we're gonna go in again. With another pump. Hopefully we play it a little bit better this time around. Okay, we're gonna let that tower fall. We, there's no reason to contest it. There it is. 30 seconds till overtime. Come on, we can do this. We can get the 12 wins. All right, here we go. Golem in the back. 20 seconds till double elixir. We can do this. Let's hold it poison. Poison here. Poison everything. Electro wizard. Ice golem. Let's send the goblins. To get that mega minion down. Let's zap the min minions. Okay. So we're up a lot right here. Let's put another golem down. Get the night witch ready for the barrel. There it is. Should be fine here. Now he has poison in the hand, so we gotta be careful here. Let's, uh,. Let's go ahead and save our baby dragon. Poison this. And here we go. We'll put Mega Minion on this side away from the poison and everything. And I think we got it! We got the 12 wins, boys! 10 seconds remaining. We'll put goblins here to handle any barrel action. Let's put pump here for the BM effect. Let's give him the good game. Well played. Thumbs up and good luck. A plus one. GG, we got the 12 wins, boys. Easy. Easy. Alright. 12 wins. We'll show the chest at the end of the video. Let's go ahead and show a couple more matches. So, uh, here we're playing a Mega Knight Balloon deck. Really popular deck. I think most of you guys have probably played it in uh, the Grand Challenge or so. <laughs> So we're gonna showcase this one here. So he's gonna go aggressive with the balloon. Look at my hand. Look at my hand. I have Night Witch versus this entire push. We're gonna zap the bats here. Zap the balloon. And just eat up two shots from the balloon. And we're in quite in a bit a lot of trouble right here. 666 on my tower. Illuminati confirmed balloon death damage 
So I see my pump is the next card over, so I'm just gonna go ahead and place a baby dragon right there to tank for the Electro Wizard and uh, throw another pump down. So I notice he has Miner, so I try to predict with the goblins. Unfortunately, I need to place those goblins one second a little earlier. If you guys watched the OJ video, uh, if you place goblins at the right time, they will actually rush into the Miner, no matter where he is. If you place the pump in the corner, so that's just a little bit of a misplay there from myself. There we go. We see the Mega Knight coming down. I know I need to go aggressive. Look at the Night Witch placements. I always like putting the Night Witch back, just so she stays alive longer and builds this huge wave of bats. So here we go. We got the huge wave of bats coming. We're gonna zap those bats. We unfortunately missed one of the bats. Poison on top of the Electro Wizard. Golem's gonna pop and kill those goblins. And here we go, we're gonna, we see the zap come in. So we know he doesn't have locks, so we're gonna go in with goblins here. Just to get that extra damage. And uh, we're able to take his tower there. And look, we're even up on Elixir. We're at 7 and he's at 4. And we got the tower down. So here we go, we're gonna go in with another golem, because I see there's only 1 minute left. So we have to kind of go uh, aggressive, right? Probably the best play to do is to pump up there, but when he has Balloon and Miner, like, I, I prefer going in Golem there and just forcing him on defense. So here we go, we got the Poison on top of the Mega Knights. Balloon coming in on the left side. I zap and Mega Knight to Balloon. I mean Mega Minion to Balloon. Look at that, the death damage still hits. Miner's coming in. I don't protect it with the Goblins. And he stopped our push. Well, so here we go. I know he has to use his miner to take my tower, so I go ahead and then just pump up on the bottom right, distracting the Mega Knight with the Golem here. Unfortunately, really badly played Night Witch, but I think we're still gonna take it here. So you see there, a lot of mistakes made from both of us, but this deck is just so strong with Poison and Pump and Night Witch and all these tools. And we still got the win here. Alright, so let's go ahead and showcase... I want to showcase this graveyard match. Because I made some really big mistakes here. But hopefully with me uh, telling you guys my mistakes, you guys won't make them in the future. So we're versus Mr. Cunado from Dragon Esports. He's calling GG. I think he might know me. Alright, so Poison on the tower gets a little bit of poke damage and takes out the pump. But every time you Poison or Fireball a pump, uh, the opponent's actually gaining 1+. plus. So I'm getting 1 Elixir every time he Poisons my my pump. So here we go. He's coming in with the Graveyard on the left. Bats are coming in. My Baby Dragon is there to defend, but there's just so much chaos, so much little bats. And, and we just take so much damage on the tower. Baby Dragon did not do that well there on defense and here we go look at this defense poison night witching or poison logging the night witch will kill her and even more so the ice wizard stays alive is able to slow down that golem from punching his tower a couple times but fortunately for us we're able to get in we're gonna pressure with the baby dragon mega minion here and there we go just I think he overcommitted there with the poison log. Alright, so here we go. He's got Ice Wizard on defense. He, I pump up on the left side here. And this is where I made the big mistake. So let me talk to you guys a little bit before I uh, tell you about my mistake. But when you take a tower from Graveyard and you're a golem user, you're mostly going to win because graveyard is so hard to take another two towers down. So what I have to do here is I allow him to take this bottom left right side tower. I know what I know how it sounds. Uh, losing the tower is never good, right? But in this situation it is just because I get such an advantage if I have the cr the crown tower helping me out take out that graveyard. So I should have let this tower go down and I shouldn't have overcommitted on defense. I should have just formed another 
big golem push at this point. So, big mistake there. I'm down a lot of elixir. And now all he has to do is poison log that bottom right side tower. So now look at this. He's pushing the left side. He's got a minute left. And I don't have the crown tower helping me out on this defense. So I have to just exert more on defense. Where if I allowed him to uh, take the bottom right side tower, I would have been fine. Because he's going to take it no matter what. Because he has great uh, poison log, you know. So just a little misplaced there. So here we go, he's going in really hard here. Look at this defense, goblins to distract. Zap, coming out for the bats. We're just trying to desperately to survive here. And there we go, he takes the bottom right side tower, three HP. That's pretty unlucky for him. We set another pump down. He's gonna log that tower. And here we go, we're gonna set up a defensive goal up Poison the graveyard. See now two towers are helping out clear those skeletons. It's a lot more effective. And look at that. Great defense by him. Cannon card's going to take the golem out. Ice golem's going to distract. We're going to put baby dragon on that cannon card. Because if the cannon card got to the tower, it would have been a big, big problem. And here we go, another poison on top of the graveyard. Goblins there to take out the cannon cart. Plus a zap on top of the bats. And now we can form a push because we have a pump. We have baby dragon on Connor. Counter pushing. Golem is coming in. We're just going to go heavy here. Graveyard is set by him. I'm going to poison because he ice golem there in the center of the tank for the skeletons. And we're going to be good here. This is going to be the game winning push. But this could have been a lot easier if I let him take that bottom right side tower earlier on. So GG's guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys subscribe and uh, follow. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next in the comment section. Peace.